Hi, oh YouTube. My name is Dexter, and welcome back to Freedom Planet 2, where uh, we're gonna go fight Murga. And I just tried to fight Murga, and I did okay, I'll say. Um, I actually um just gonna um where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yeah, we're just gonna go with that. Do I want more? You know what? Yeah, let's take life stealing more damage. Sure, why not? Uh, three percent of the damage that deal, eight percent more attack power. Okay, there we go. So, um, I just, I just don't like this fight. That's the long and short of it. Um, we'll play this cutscene. Murga, you should have run. Let there be no more death today, Murga. This planet should not have to suffer for the sins of my people. Hollow words from a boy who grew up in a palace built on those sins. I know that the Earth Dragons, my people, had enslaved your own. I know of I the story about slavery. test fire of Bakanawa's mining laser, killing thousands of water dragons in the blink of an eye. All these events and more were excised from history by Earth Dragon hands. I apologize for my complicity through ignorance. You think that a mere apology can erase our suffering? No. And that is why I intend to bring this secret history to light. Tell the world what really happened, and venerate the Water Dragon's struggle against my people's tyranny. Everyone will know what the Earth Dragons have done. Please, let this world live. No. <laughs> To be remembered as slaves who rebelled against their masters and lost? Or the monsters that killed the world? What choice do I really have as the one final breath of the water dragons? Wait, you don't have to- Murga, no! Stop this! We are the last to suffer under the yoke of the earth dragons. This ends here. Die, right, bring it on, sister. This world dies and you with it. So, um, I hope you're ready for a bunch of phases, because, um, that's what we're getting into. And it's, um, it's a thing. I hate the fact that she can block in this phase. It makes it a needlessly long. It makes this part of the fight drag on for longer than it needs to, because you don't—you can only hurt her when she's doing attacks. And, um... She doesn't sit still. And whenever she is doing an attack, it's always everything around her is keeping her safe. Ow. And I just don't want to deal with it. Come on, come on, give me my health back. <clears throat> but at least I'm stealing a little bit of health, so that's, that's not nothing. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. God damn it. Ow! And I am making great use of the dodge mechanics now. Ow. I say as I proceed to get hit in the face. So maybe I was lying to you. Whee! God damn it. So yeah, that uh, that whole making great use of the the dodge mechanics was a fucking lie. There, there's the first phase down. I need to get a little bit of healing out of it. <clears throat> the second phase is my favorite. Also, she just shouted Blood Moon in case you didn't hear it. it, it this this phase is my favorite because if you just stand behind her, she can't do anything. <laughs> But every once in a while, she just sinks through the floor. Come on, let me hit you, you bitch. And then this happens every once in a while. How far does it, okay, that's as far as that reaches. I honestly had no idea. I didn't know where what was going on. I just knew that uh, she had pretty good reach on some of her flamethrowers. 
like that one. <clears throat> All right, a little bit more health. <coughs> um, her. Super moon. I don't know if Super Moon's a reference to Hell Divers or not, but I'm going to assume that it is. And I'm happy to see that Sony uh, backpedaled on their. Uh... I mean, all it took was a uh, you know losing uh, pretty much thousands of dollars to get them to do that. But uh... <clears throat> yeah, it was nice to see. Good to see. <laughs> Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hey, 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 stop that. I wish I could hurt her while she was doing this, while she was pulling that one out, but you're not allowed, and it's very upsetting. Yep, oh, I missed. Come on, Murga, just, just cease. Murga, Murga, stop! I may have made a mistake here. I'm kinda stuck in a corner now. Never mind, we're golden. No, oh, nope, she's back in her own little personal bubble. There we go. <clears throat> Phase number three down. Eclipse. This one's the worst. That's not true. Her last phase is the worst. But this one definitely is not um not fun. Alright, which one's the real one? So I'm just gonna kinda sit here and slug it out with her and hope I can just, you know, do more damage than she can. The answer is I can't, but I can dream. Woo! I honestly don't know what that's supposed to do. Cause I've, I've been hit by it and then was able to dash out of it, so I honestly- I actually have no clue what that thing's there for. I guess it just looks cool. Which, definitely. But it's still a little- there! Look at that. <clears throat> that phase was annoying. This phase is just kind of... It's like a really slow bullet health. Best way I can describe it. She throws a lot of projectiles, which can break them. And if you get lucky, they have health in them. Uh oh. Ah! Made a mistake. Oh shit. Alright, let's get back up. Alright, fine, we'll just go right through. We'll just press on through. We'll, we'll... We'll ride the lightning. Ow. And there's all of my health back. <laughs> and now for the hard part. Not yet. It's not over yet. <laughs> She's just... The, uh, original, uh... Fight with her. And I still don't understand how I was able to, like, charge clash with her. But there was one time where I managed to, you know, charge clash with her, and I actually, you know, stunned her for a lot longer than otherwise is, um, possible. And I want to know how I did it. I wish I could just life steal off her right now, but I'm not allowed. Ow. Now, do you think my life steal only counts for like me hitting, or do you think that shockwave counts? Cyclone. Speaking of, I want that her shockwave to stop. I don't think it's going to though. What do you mean I can't hurt her when she's doing that? 
There. Victory. Why should, why, why does she explode? Is she a robot? I wanted to believe. I wanted to see you for what water dragons were meant to be. But our past, our history, they're nothing but chains, and we are choking on them. We might be the last of our kind, but that's not all that defines us. We are the people we help, the friends we make, the love we share, and the world we leave behind. That's who we are, who we can be, but only if we decide. No! The Earth Dragons must suffer! The Water Dragons will have justice! I will have my revenge! Murga, no! We have to leave. It's not safe here. I also don't think a fall is going to kill Murga. Stage clear. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't care that I didn't do very well. I got a B? No, I got a C. Okay. That's 5% off a C. Or 5% off a B. But all right, I think that's the end of Freedom Planet 2. And no, I'm not going to be playing the other characters because I I don't want to. <laughs> Simple as. Um, By the collective efforts of our three kingdoms, the threat of Bakanawa has come to an end. Yet as the moon we defended so passionately fades into the horizon, I cannot help but dwell on the unsettling truth that has been revealed to us. What is punishment enough for conspiracy to silence an entire world? Will an act of forgiveness lead to peaceful resolution? Or will it buckle under the weight of those unwilling to change? Perhaps there is no perfect answer. Nevertheless, I feel it is my duty to pursue an outcome that I believe would break the cycle of conflict that has consumed our world for generations. The atrocities of our past should never be forgotten, but neither should they be repeated. Oh boy. Under regular circumstances, our laws would pronounce your deeds to be acts of war, and in the Kill former em. sergeant's case, treason. Such crimes would be punishable by life in prison, or even death. No, kill him! However, these are not regular No, you kill the traitor. Kill him. Kill him. Kill the, kill the bird man. Facts that have been brought to light. The severity of your punishments will be reduced. I hereby sentence the four of you to six months of community service. You will remain in Shang Tu for the duration of your sentence, to clean up the mess caused by your callous disregard for our property. And you'd better do a good job. Those fossils in the museum ain't gonna rebuild themselves, you know. As you wish. Captain Kalau will do as the hammer of justice will. No, you should be dead. Well, on the bright side, I guess you get to see me more often, sis. As for your ringleader, we have found neither hide nor tail of Murga in Bakanawa's wreckage. We would have offered her clemency in the same manner as you, but I strongly suspect she would not have cared for an Earth Dragon's ruling. And now I declare this ruling to be concluded. General Gong will hand out your assignments. Nira, may I have a private word with you and your friends? So she's still out there. Alone. There's a distinct lack of being able to kill the villains. Fair Sash Lilac. She hasn't woken up yet. She's strong though, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's up and about in a day or so. That is good to hear. And thank you, all of you. 
Once again, the day is saved thanks to your efforts. Pshaw, saving the world, no worries. Well, actually, Scary Lady here was new to all this, but we showed her the ropes. Yes, however, would I have survived without your apt tutelage? See, she even picked up a sense of humor. There is something else. Now that we are aware of the full facts behind my people's rule and abuse of power, it would be disgraceful to continue as if nothing has changed. Which is why I am stepping down as the leader of Shang Tu. What? No, Magister, you can't! I must. If change is to happen, then it has to come from within. We will take a page from our neighboring city and appoint a new leader through free elections. In the meantime, I love our democracy. regent must be appointed to oversee the proceedings of fair and just. I was hoping that you would fulfill that role, Mira. M me? Uh, what? I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Who's the most honorable person we know who would protect and defend Cheng Tu at all costs? Yeah, and we have the freeze burns and jail time to prove it. Seriously, though, innocent until proven guilty next time. I, I would be honored, but surely there are others just as loyal. Perhaps. But none of them have battled the Water Dragon Centurion on the spaceship that was about to eat the moon. That is both a rare sentence and achievement. In that case, it would be my honor to accept this duty. I will not fail our people, nor leave our lands undefended. Excellent. Then I pronounce you Regent Nira Lee of Shang Tu. Woo! Congratulations, Lady Nira! Yeah, major congrats, scary lady. I mean, Regent Scary Lady. Thank you. But what will you do now, Magister? There is still so much history lost <coughs> or hidden away by the Earth Dragons. My intention is to roam the world of Avalis to try and document what remnants may remain. But for now, get some rest, and I shall prepare what duties lie ahead of you as Regent. Oh boy! How many more cutscenes am I gonna have to listen to? Hey, sure you should be moving around so much? Where are you going? I heard that they never found Murga, so that's what I'm going to do. I think she deserves to know that someone's thinking of her and make sure she's okay. Same old Lilac. Can't you be little Miss Hero Pants some other time? <laughs> Not a chance. Besides, this might be my only chance to find out more about the water dragons, and maybe even something about my parents. Cool. I gotta stay and make sure my sister does all right. Mila and Scary Lady have got their own things going on, too. You gonna be okay by yourself? Of course. Even a falling spaceship isn't enough to stop a dragon. <laughs> Fair enough. Catch you later, Lilac. Catch you later, Carol. Oh, boy. Friendship. I love friendship. And democracy. <laughs> Alright, so is that the end of it? Are we done here? Oh, boy. <clears throat> well, Morgan Berry, you did a pretty fucking good uh, job at, you know, voicing Murga. Very, very guttural when it mattered. Uh, Sarah Ann Williams, right, that's what it was. Alright, but I'm going to go hope you all enjoyed this one, and I will see you all on the next series. Which, spoilers, it's something we've done before, but we're going back to it because it's fucking awesome. Who the hell is that? I don't I didn't meet any of these people, but I'm going to go by everybody.